Um, the prince and the pauper. Então, vamos lá. God be thanked, his infirmity is spent. There is no weakling but a king. He hath borne himself like to his own father. The air being filled with applause, Tom's ear necessarily caught a little of it. The effect which was this had upon him was to put him greatly at his ease and also to charge him charge his system with very gratifying sensations. However, his juvenile curiosity soon rose uh, superior to the pleasant thoughts and feelings. He was eager to know what sort of deadly mischief the woman and the little girl could have, could have been about. So by his command, the two terrified and sobbing creatures were brought before him. What is this that these have done? He inquired the sheriff, the sheriff. Please, your majesty, a black crime is charged upon them and clearly proven. Wherefore, the judges have decreed, according to the law, that they be hanged. They sold themselves to the devil. Such is their crime. Tom shuddered. He had been taught to abhor people who did this wicked thing. Still, he was not going to deny himself the pleasure of feeding his curiosity for all that. So he asked, where was this done and when? On a midnight in December in, ruined, in a ruined church, your majesty. Tom shouted again. Who was there present? Only this two, your grace, and that other. Have thee confessed? Nay, not so, sire. They do deny it. The pride, then pray thee, how is it known? Certain witnesses did see them wending thither, um, uh, wending thither, good your majesty. This bread, the suspicion, and dire effects have since confirmed and justified it. In particular, it is in evidence that thought the wicked power so obtained, they did invoke and bring about a storm that wasted, all the region round about, wasted, all the region round about. Above 40 witnesses have proved the storm and sooth one might have had a thousand, for all had reason to remember it, sith all had suffered by it. Sadis, this is a serious matter. Tom turned this dark piece of scandalism over in his mind a while, then asked, Suffered the woman also by the storm? Several old heads among the assemblage nodded their recognition of the wisdom of this question. The sheriff, however, saw nothing consequential in the inquiry. He answered with simple directness. Indeed, did she, your majesty, and most righteously as all Ava. Her habitation was swept away, and herself and child left shelterless. Methinks the power to do herself so ill, a turn was daily brought. She had been cheated, had she paid but a farthing for it, that she paid her soul and her child's, argueth that she is mad. If she is mad, she knoweth not what she doth, therefore sinneth not. The elderly heads nodded recognition of Tom's wisdom once more, and one individual murmured, and, and the king bemanned himself according to report. Then it is a madness of a soul that would prove, improve the sanity of some I would of, if by the gentle providence of God they could but catch it.